Welcome back to more Man of Lords action. It's looking pretty frosty out there. We continue our grand adventure on the oh so lovely village of Leondis. Actually, are we still a village? Yeah, we're a, we're a large village. We're going to a small town next, which we are trying to do. That'll probably be the aim of the stream today. We'll probably get two episodes from it, about 45 minutes a piece. We need to get some dyes and <gasps> I've got enough treasury. I can I can start settling the other region of Cubbington, which we will make our farmland. Huzzah! Because there'd be so much fertility. Fields of Man Lords need to be very large to be effective, but also take long to plow by hand. For a starting village, try a field size of about one Morgan. Um later if you want the region to focus on farming you can consider developing uh, spending a development point to unlock the heavy plow upgrade which will allow plowing much bigger fields more um, far more efficiently utilizing oxen also remember to check the ground fertility on crop types um some are more picky about the soil they grow on but we've got plenty of emma fertility here i was going to start up here and have my farms like out from the main road We'll probably clear a ways around with logging camps. I so could do a lot of logging camps and then send the logs, the timber over here, I guess. Like a, a good chunk of it to help the main settlement. How big is a Morgan? I don't know how big a Morgan is um, in terms of like today's stand, sort of sizing. But you can see how big a Morgan it'll be when you when you plot it out you go there it'll say it's currently well 0.5 morgan but then when you plop it it'll go oh no that's the yeah, so you want to go yeah up about 0.5 of a morgan and then spread it across that'll be a full morgan basically one morgan per per farming family apparently is what you want to do <laughs> it's twice how big is a, a morgan twice the size of a half morgan Morgan is about 1.8 acres, according to a local farmer. Oh, cool. Nice. 2,500 square meters. Hmm. Sweet. Oh, why did we suddenly teleport over there? I do not know. Um, Hellbringer, you said don't settle yet. Why? Oh, supplies spoil in winter. Ah... Uh... Wait till spring, someone says, supply support. Okay. Thank you, Twitch chat, for that. Yeah. A couple of you all pitching in to say, don't settle yet. I was about to. Don't settle in winter because your supplies will spoil. Fair shout. Um, okay. In that case, uh, I was trying to decide where I was going to put my dies. Now, we're, we're stream recording this before we've uploaded all the episodes that we got from our previous stream. So, some of you might have suggested some bits in there over on YouTube. So, my apologies. I'm not ignoring you. I just haven't. Your comments don't exist yet. They're in the future. Um, but I'm kind of thinking maybe having these dyers workshops near the near the forager. Because that's they they tend to keep well, they tend to keep a load of berries in there, but actually they're now all out of there. They're gonna be in the granary. So we want something fairly central to that. So maybe I could build I was actually, you know what, I was gonna move that hunting camp. And I was gonna build another pathway here. To try and sort out the the constant supply issues that we get around here. Although I have found out a way I could build another little marketplace, which I might put like there. Um, and that is, you come in here, apparently destroy it, um, and then rebuild it to just that size, and then you build the other market because they won't start putting stalls on the other market spot until this one is full. Uh, but I don't know how bad it will be if I destroy... I might do a save, actually, beforehand just bef to try it out because I don't want to necessarily lose all the setup these guys have done. Another thing they just fired off was another bandit camp spotted. And we're definitely going to want to go over there and take that out. Um, which means the Lord's army is going to be coming in again, aren't they? Would imagine. We got raiders in 52 days. Excess weapons storage. I think. 
here. Okay, work area is empty. Yeah, I know that's fine. So, I kind of wonder if I could just send my... I mean, last time we just sent the archers and the retinue, didn't we? I wonder if I could just send the retinue. I'm just going to send the retinue because that's not going to affect my population that much. Although, how much do I need for this? 250. I can increase my retinue size one more, can't I? I can get another man at arms. Let's do it. It's Charmin. Boom. Plus, I'm just thinking, what do we want? What do we want to do? From it? Do we want more treasury, or do we want to send the wealth back? I think I'm going to send the wealth back to to the village this time. Oh yeah, I was going to mess around with customizing these guys at some point. I wanted to actually start taking sub names to rename them all as well my liege so what i'm gonna do is march you lot i'm gonna march you to this that clearing right you're just walking because otherwise you'll get knackered you'll take a long time to go but you guys aren't aren't workers. You just chill here. When uh... this is heavier than it looks. When not raised, so yeah, you're not taking up anything there, which is good. Oh, you guys were saying this is the the charnel pit, which is why it's got all the bones laid in there, which is fine. The village does already have over 800 wealth, but like I don't, I don't necessarily see myself needing the treasury for anything else. The more wealth the region has, the higher the taxes I'll be able to claim from them anyway. So, yeah, let's do it. Right, yeah, let's... Okay, let's let's fix some bits here. You know, actually, what I was going to do first... How much wood timber have I got? Yeah, plenty. I was. We set this out last time. Let's set some houses in here. Although, maybe we'll make that the market. The new marketplace, actually. Mm. I was going to move this around, wasn't I? Uh, buh, 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 buh. I am going to put it there. When it's done, I will transfer this family to that one and then destroy that. That's what I'm going to do. And I was also going to upgrade this, wasn't I? Upgrade that. And then we'll order another oxen to it as well. Yeah, you guys don't have fuel stall. Yeah, okay. I am going to throw in a save. And then... <laughs> okay, so all the supplies just go there. That's fine. And then I need to build a new marketplace I need all the people to move off it first okay, could you could you move off the square that you'll move eventually yeah. They'll all move eventually, but we'll do a slightly shorter market here and then we'll build another market up here for better access all around. See if that does it. 
a bit more effectively with what we want to do. So go there. Where's it? Where's it pinging up there? Same with that bit. Uh, it won't let me go anywhere near where they've got the supplies right now. Yeah, it's no good. We need all that, all that collected then. Hunting camp is finished, so I'm going to tell you guys to reassign that. And we'll destroy that one. Yep. Happy days. Oh, that's going to hurt the... Yeah. No one's like, we don't have any access. Yeah. Gather up all your supplies. I mean, it'll all be... Everything will be taken to the granary, which is fine. Right now. Also, I realise I've done this at the worst possible time. Winter, when they're all going to spoil. Stocks damaged by weather. We just lost that leather. That's not... What the heck is this? Pasture. Oh, that somehow. Oh, that was interesting. I unlocked the hidden menu. Oop, where are we going over there? Uh, marketplace. I think I broke something. Destroying it. It's gone squiffy. Yeah, I'm going to remove those bits of road and see if it's that affecting it. We'll build the marketplace there. That's fine. It's, it's still pretty squiff-tastic. Fill that in. Just thickening up the existing roads bits a bit. More, like, more heavily travelled. That's fine. Right, so there should be stalls, yeah, popped in there very, very swiftly. Which is good. They'll soon have all of that done when the stalls are in there. Yeah, they're all being built. Okay, that's fine. We can build more, more production bits in there. That's fine. All right, what have we got in here? We've got clothing stall. 
firewood stall and food. Yeah, nice. So everything will just create more, more stalls through there, which is nice. How's my retinue doing? Nearly in place. That's good. Oh, wow. I've just, oh, it was like coming to no 50%. How are we over here? 71. Okay, that's still fine. Doesn't affect it too much. That's good. Get the stalls all back up and running. Nice. Yeah, they're now bringing all the stuff out. They've got all the food in there. That's what I was going to build in here, actually. Dyer's workshop. God, you guys need some stuff, don't you? It's unfortunate you can't fit you in there. And something close from the storehouse. I mean, I guess I can put it... There. Yeah, let's pop in two of them. Come back and do the rest in a little bit. Food. Yeah, I'm going to build because there's less stalls. Um, I might actually just cross it off differently there. That's fine. Right, my retinue. Here we go. Perfect timing. Push them back. You. We've not lost anyone yet. They've lost quite a few. There we go. Oh, did I lose one at the end? No, that's theirs, isn't he? Nice. Good finish. Top work, men. You've seen him off. All right. Go claim that bandit camp. We'll get back ready for the raiders coming in 36 days. Look at that glorious new marketplace. On the site of the old one. Huzzah! No free store locations. Good. And everyone is happy apart from you, I think. Uh, you need some clothing. Right. Yeah, let's, let's build a new one. I'm going to go across. Draw a line across there. Oh, a new message that's going to be taking it. I'm going to send the resources to the nearest town. Yeah. That's fine. And give us more in taxes anyway. Run you guys back. Uh, someone was asking in the comment section, like, why don't you just disband your units the moment you're done with combat? Uh, because you have to bring them back to your home region before you can disband them. Uh, or actually, do I want... Mm, like market, I could have the market stalls out here, couldn't I? I was thinking that might make a really cool um, burgage plot. Oh, 
No, oh, I can't quite get enough of that. The backyard expansion bit. I don't think that's going to change however I build this, but it's just... Oh, uh... I have, what, two houses? Yeah, no, we don't that. Yeah, remove that bit of road. I can probably just do it manually through here. Yeah, like that. So yeah, let's let's do a little marketplace opposite opposite the the trader. I feel like that's not crazy to have. It's gonna give me three stalls. Uh, that's not probably enough. I could have have it along there, I guess. 14, that's a bit excessive. Six. Eight. Yeah, let's do that. Let's pop it in there. And then we can do a little road. Up by the side there. The Manor Market, it should be called. It saves, it keeps throwing me over the place. Um, yeah, we could we could just have our our plots. Let's see what you're saying. Like, just put them put them rectangular. Not, you get more interesting shapes and more room for expansion doing it like in this kind of peculiar way, which I'm quite quite a fan of. Like going up like that for the backyard plots. Just look, just looking a little bit different, a little bit more interesting. I could probably have a... Actually, if I do that, I could probably have it as one big plot. Yeah, nice. Kind of preferring giving them some bigger plots rather than just terraces. That's a nice long plot there. Oh, two two very long ones, and then one one unfortunately without anything in there. Let's try a bit across there and there. What can we do here? Two expansion bits with two big plots. Yeah, nice. So we could just fit a load of terraced ones in there. Or we can make some big plots to work the backyard bits. Which I'm kind of like more in favor of doing as, as you get outside of the, the cramped up initial main street, having these broader plots. So I'm going to do that. Just experiment with it. Just have some fun with it. Like we, like we did with these guys back here. Interesting shapes you get out of it. But I think this is also, at least in Britain, suddenly seeing stuff like this you're, is what you may well see in quaint little villages. You'll be interesting to see how like the parcels of land were not divided up into neat little squares or rectangles. It was all wiggly, wobbly and squirrely whirly all around whatever land and bits they could claim. So I'll try a circular settlement. You could probably do that quite... I think someone actually has done that. I think I saw a video on it. What a lovely village. How does it feel to be 24 days away from being raided? Uh, it feels great. It feels right. Everything's fine. Family members are joining. Nice. Yeah, we are continuing to grow. That's what we want to see. Join my squiggly wiggly places. Uh, we need to put someone in the dyers, don't we? 
Go there and there. Fill those both up. They've already got one with the market stall. Are we are we all supplied now? You guys are still complaining. That's probably because you don't have a stall up here yet. But but you do have stalls. That's good. Please say it's a firewood stall. Nice. Okay, who's working there? They're transporting some goods. This is I mean it's gonna take a long time to get stuff up there. Uh can I actually Oh, the large store. I can't actually. Yeah, I was thinking like, could I assign an oxen to it? Because I feel like that would help. But no. We're at ninety-four. Hopefully, we'll get to a hundred pop today. Firewood. Is the granary connected to a road? Uh, not directly, but. You also don't need to have buildings directly connected to roads. It's just I think it slows down the movement of goods. As far as I'm aware. But yeah, won't hurt to do that as well. How are these guys looking? Got some fire going on. Lots of fires. Dye workshop. So yeah, we need the dyes for my tailor's shop. You guys are aiming to make clothes. And you guys are aiming clothes and you guys are doing cloaks. Ah, uh, but I realized I need, I was like, oh, he dyes will fix it. No, I need yarn. And I need linen. How do I get that? Damn it. So we need some sheep for the yarn. I mean, we could just trade this all in, but I'm trying to build this up so that we're self-sufficient if we can. Although I have, I have been buying in ale, haven't I? For the tavern. We should put the tavern in. Ale? Where's me ale? Ale. Yeah. Ten of it. Where is it stored, though? The granary, of course. It's in the granary. Let's build a tavern. I mean, the tavern's got to be fairly central, right? I feel like there's not a bad spot for it by the woods. Tavern right by the marketplace is where all the hubbub is going to be going along. If we get the Gibson, can my troops wear it? Uh, I believe we can. Yeah, we can give them better equipment and stuff. Yeah. So they'll they'll take it if they've got access to it. Yeah, so we can actually see if hovering over the local spear militia here, down the bottom, you've got helmet zero, Gabeson zero, and like a mail shirt zero. So if there is equipment available, they'll take it and wear it as part of their uh, their outfit and they'll store it as their wares ready to be rallied up. Uh, you guys can be disbanded now. Um, yeah, let's pop the... Let's pop the tavern down. The market arms. Oh, I like it. Boom. Get that tavern built. Yeah, because these ones will back onto the fields eventually when we start doing that here. That's very nice. Um, we're still in February, but it will be spring soon. No other bandits on the horizon, are there? I guess, obviously, the bandits start, um, like, dwindling. The more you, you kind of play through and you claim more regions of influence, I guess... They don't pop up as much because you've claimed those lands. I know your work area is empty. I know there's two. Actually, let's take let's take one family off. Because yeah, we don't need both of them on there then. Uh, let's fast forward it. Uh, I was thinking about actually making another logging camp over here. Wasn't I to clear stuff up? Oh, this building is the bane of my existence. What don't you have now? You don't have fuel. Come on, guys. I mean, you even work right here. You're a warehouse worker, can't you? Have you got? Have you got the? 
the goods? Or are you fueling... You're fueling these guys <laughs> and not the other stalls. Wow. Says you've got it. You wallies. I mean, you'll you'll get there in the end. Not enough fuel on the marketplace stalls. So maybe I do need those foreign trade ones to supplement what I'm producing. Let's uh, fast forward a bit. Yeah, fire away, Midge. Midge, go for it. Does the game end when you control areas or can you just continue? I think you can continue past that to keep on building. Um, in this mode, though, we set our end game objective to be when we uh, defeat the Baron. Oh, you can fast forward it. Nice. Cinematic fast forwarding. Fresh and juicy berries. Get your berries here. I assume we've got some dyes. Oh, loads of them. Yeah, it doesn't take much to get this up. Look at me tavern. Oh, if only I could rename it. Surely the tavern's going to make everyone happy. Plenty of fuel. I think because you can't have more stalls here, they'll naturally go over here to, to build more stalls. Oh, you're, you're bringing up some firewood here. Here we go. Might just be because it's taken a while to get them set up and to get things brought out here. Yeah, you're going to you're gonna bring more here, aren't you? Yeah, there you go. So she's now delivered that. They've actually now got some. So you guys, yeah, should be happy. Good. Good, 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 good. So log camps are the only place you can store logs. So building multiple locations is a really good idea, but you rarely need more than one logging camp worked. Okay, so you just kind of rotate through them. so much fire with that um yeah i think i think i will build another one another logging camp up over here um i saw woodcutters yeah that one mainly because i want to clear this area for farming later on but we won't worry about it just yet the snows are receding. We'll wait until we go properly into spring because I guess while it's winter, it will still count. Oh, here we go. It'll, it'll count as... Um, the supplies could be spoiled. Band of enemy raiders. They're coming. So it begins. Raiders, brigands, outlaws have come to burn your village, my lord. Rumbling and a rumbling. Um, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is just form up my archers and the retinue to fire at them. We'll keep the spear militia 
safe for now. Oh, look at all these here. Good eat. Getting a good bit of bit of good bit of income. Oh, yeah, we can get another oxen, can't we? Upgraded this to another stables. Let's let's get on another ox. Keep your hearth warm and your home cozy. Oh, look at the tavern. Oh, what a wonderful place. I'm assuming that's helping this, right? No? Does it help public order? Was it just literally a uh, requirement for upgrading things because they need to have tavern supply? And we just need clothing now. But that doesn't count, does it? So we need yarn or linen. I guess we'll do a sheep farm. Do we need a pasture for... How do, I forget how like sheep farms work. Do we have to build a sheep farm and a pasture to send them to? Or do they all just live at the sheep farm? Part of me's tempted to just see if I can take them out with my archers. We can get the fenced up perk and use fallow fields as pasture. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Rich deposit there. Berries should be growing soon. Also raise the fertility for the next growth. Yeah, that's that's true. That's good. Um, I just realized with all the treasury we've got now. Oh, wait, we still, we still need to place that settlement over here. Yeah. But I can increase my retinue size as well. Get 12 of them in there. Beautiful. Uh, let me look at my fertility. Okay. I mean, there's, if we're going to do anything, it's going to be rye. I'm probably not going to bother with the Emma stuff. It's going to be rye over here. So I'm thinking we put the sheep up here. So what I'm actually going to do is plot out around the church. A nice little bit to know. Put sheep in there. Just going to put the Superman crest in there to remind myself. <laughs> there. Croot's missing, my lord. <laughs> yeah. The S stands for hope. No, 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 no. The S stands for sheep. Bandits! Flee! Oh, you guys didn't like the taxation? That sucks. Are you guys upset about fuel again? Could you... Could you stock that? I probably need to put some another family into the large storehouse. That'll get more work in the case, getting more stuff distributed. Oh yeah, we got another. I was like, we got another recruit in here. We really want to get it up to like thirty archers. We well, really want to get to a full third, full stack. Okay, no, they're, they're... I mean, I still think we can take them out with just the archers, so let's see. Rally! Archers, grab your bows. We're under attack. Assemble! 
Oh, another firewood store at last. Good. That's what we need. My liege. Come on. Out of the fields. Quit your work. Defend your village. Oh, look at me. Carrots. <laughs> Gets distracted. Oh, carrot. Carrot. Cabbages. I think I broke something. <laughs> yeah, I want to build towers. Someone was asking to see if can you... If you... If when you build a tower does that increase the range of the manor and also how come this is expanding every so often this little radius here is it just something that increases over time very slowly but if you build a tower does that expand that radius so could you actually just put enough towers all the way around your village and actually wall off that whole bit because that'd be kind of cool We might have to do that. Because that would be sick. Lots of little towers. Like out to like around this core bit would be incredible. God, I mean, just look at that view. It's so pretty. Just like it looks like an actual little village. I love it. Oh, where have the bandits got? Okay, they're coming. Archers! Loose! Get him, retinue. Get him. Have at him. Form up arches. Oh, he has to kick him. Yeah, finish him. Say it, archers. Yeah, finish it. Bring more of them down. Let none survive. Uh, friendly fire is a thing. So I'm assuming by clicking that, it means you'll fire into friendlies as well. Ramsey Bolton style. Hey, everybody back home. Back to work. There's a walled position, but it's stand outside. Well, because if we stand inside the wall bit, the raiders will come through my village. So I assume now we're just going to get alerts every so often when new ones pop up. Okay. We can, yeah, do a backyard construction. Get some veggies in there and expand the living size. More vegetables. Oh, that one can, yeah, that one can get one in, but that's fine. Oh, yeah, we'll need to bury their bodies, won't we? Because I'm assuming it will upset people. 
for that, we will need a corpse pit. Not all deserve to be buried on consecrated grounds. Use this building to get rid of any raided corpses quickly. Workers become grave diggers. We'll put it over there at the edge of the sheep field. I'm looking forward to when it's time to harvest these. But tell me when. Harvest it will be autumn, will it? We guess. Yes, we have survived our first onslaught, my lord. We can live to fight another day. But we really should now get on to founding our first village. Our first village? Our second village, I should say. Which is something we were planning on doing at the start. But it was winter. So we will begin by plopping this down. Well, I guess probably along the pathway there. Because I want to... Um, Build the little the, the houses and main little bit here within a like a little triangle here. We'll probably put a road across that bit. And then we'll have some farms and fields across there. But that will have to wait until the next episode for those watching on YouTube. Until then, I hope you've enjoyed. Take care. And ciao for now.